in the history of NFL films. This is one of my favorite shots. Okay, I shot it. That's not the point. The hands of Dick Butkus are like a manual on how to play football. But that image was ruined for me in the 1970s. The Bears went to AstroTurf. I mean, Dick Butkus on plastic grass? It's like putting John Wayne on a mechanical horse. We wired Butkus for a preseason game in Buffalo. We had never miked him before, and we were really excited. Even at the coin toss, he was a fierce competitor. Look, Papa. You got to go, asshole. But once the game began, Butkus was just a shell of his former self. Injuries had reduced this force of mass destruction to a mere mortal. Well, look at his knee. It's gone, man. Look at it. Damn. Is he knocked out or is his knee? We didn't use any of this because after two series, Dick came out and he spent the rest of the game kidding around on the sidelines. Do you remember anything? Butka seemed most concerned with the trials of rookie kicker Miro Roeder. You're all worried about that tee and uh, it's throwing your whole kicking off. Roeder was from the Czech Republic and he was probably have, confused enough tea? without Butkus's needling. Yeah. Yeah, don't they have another tee? Well, what's happening? I don't know. I don't know if it's a tee or. How far did that one go? I don't know. Yeah, but it was high. Is that T as high as the one you use? I don't know. He put it. Well, can't you make it? Yeah, he put it. Well, you had to win this way. You should have kicked it in the end zone this time. <laughs> She's all upset. Don't uh, don't get her upset now. No, she didn't kick it in the end zone. She loses her T and she can't fix another one. This turned out to be Dick Butkus's last season. He limped through nine games before his aching knees forced him to retire. His departure was the end of an era. I knew then that the pro football of the 1960s was gone forever.